For a copy scene or pictures of other photographs or text, for example, you'll want to set the program mode, you'll want to turn the flash off, you'll need to use the macro mode, you'll want to set an appropriate ISO, an appropriate white balance, and I highly recommend testing the focus after you've taken your picture. Let's start by setting the program mode. Turn your mode dial right here to P. This will give you access to the functions you need. Because you're so close to your subject with the scene, you'll want to turn the flash off so the photo doesn't turn out too bright. Press the flash button, it's the right navigation button right here, and use the control dial to move over until you get to flash off. Then press set or give it a second to go away. For subjects so close to the camera, you'll need to use the macro mode. It really depends on how close you are to your subject. Try pressing the shutter button halfway to see if you can lock focus. If you can, the macro mode is not necessary. If you can't, however, press the left navigation button or the flower icon right here and move over to macro. Then press set or give it a second to go away. Go ahead and set an appropriate white balance by pressing the function button right in the center here to access the function menu and go down to the second icon, which is your white balance function. You can use the control dial to move over to select the appropriate white balance. If you're indoors and you're just using incandescent lights, you'll need to use tungsten. If you're outdoors, however, you can set this to daylight. I'll assume we're indoors with this scene, so I'll set mine to tungsten and then press set. You may not be able to use a tripod with this scene, so you'll need a shutter speed that's fast enough, allowing you to handhold the camera. Press the shutter button halfway to see what the shutter speed is currently set to. Right now, mine is at 1 30th of a second. That's fast enough to handhold, but I also have a lot of light in my scene. In your case, you may need to increase the ISO to compensate for a slow shutter speed. There are two ways you can increase the ISO. Right now, my camera is set to use the front ring in order to change the ISO, so I can turn this, thereby increasing the ISO. I can also press the function button right here to access the function menu, and the top function is my ISO setting. I can use the control dial now to increase the ISO this way. Once I've set the ISO, I can press the function button again to escape the function menu, Press the shutter button halfway again to see what the shutter speed is now set to. Right now I'm at 320th of a second. That's plenty fast. In fact, I might want to lower the ISO in this case to maintain a little bit better image quality. All you need is a shutter speed of 1 30th of a second to be able to handhold the camera. Anything slower than that will require a higher ISO setting. If it's faster, however, you may want to decrease the ISO. I'll choose a lower ISO, and now that I have my ISO properly set, my flash is turned off, I'm using the macro mode, and my white balance is properly set, I can go ahead and take my picture. It's very important to focus on your subject first. So I'm going to zoom in and place my focusing square over the subject. Now I press the shutter button halfway to lock focus. Once the focus is locked, indicated by the green square, I can recompose the image if I need to, and then press the shutter button the rest of the way to capture the image. It's very important once you've taken your picture to test whether it came out in focus. Press the playback button right here. Now I can see the last picture that was taken. Now what I need to do is magnify this image all the way and scroll to where I locked focus. So I'll use the zoom lever to magnify the image now I'll use the navigation buttons to move over to the left and up to see whether the picture came out in focus or not. Now with the photo magnified as much as possible, I can actually see that the focus turned out really great.